I'd like to say a warm greetings to all my loved ones and to the YouTubers who are watching. Hello, greetings. I am Zazafrik You Squirrel Mog, and I am here to uh, stream you some Christmas stuff. You're a YouTuber. Well, you know, you occupy a special position in my chat box. Like you're the first person to chat, so hi. <laughs> Uh, I am here to stream you a Christmas special. As soon as I'm done posting on Twitter. So, you know, sit by the uh, big roaring fire. Put a terrible holiday sweater on. Don't let your holiday sweater touch the roaring fire. It is it, it, extraordinarily flammable. Uh, it probably will kill all of us eventually. I, I sh probably shouldn't have gone with the lowest bidder. But uh, sit back, relax, just not too much, remember the fire, and uh, we will be playing Marvin's Mittens. A lovely game about a small egg-shaped child looking for his lost mitten. So I am just getting all uh, tweeted out, and we will be playing Marvin's Mittens. Hey, a zip-up hoodie is a valid holiday sweater. Uh, like I said, just don't try to uh, get too close to the fire in one of these holiday sweaters. They are extraordinarily flammable. They will probably actually explode, which would be awesome. Actually, you know what? Everybody cluster around the fire. <laughs> Damn. Nope, nope, mustn't get everyone killed on Christmas. Not that it's, you know, actually Christmas. This is a winter holiday festival because it's snowy. Uh, we will get almost an inch of snow tomorrow. Uh, signaling the end times we have begun. And I am, uh... As some of you may know, I live under the deadly ice dome. And every year it closes in a little more. And, uh... Eventually, it will freeze all life on the planet. But I am happy that that fate has been forestalled just a little longer this year. Ah, we're live and ready to find Bitten. And I grab the channel link. And I drop the channel link in the tweet. And I cross-post Mastodon. And now I can close that window and devote my full attention to all of you. Hello, you have my full attention now. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, uh, we are so hyped for the end of the world here. I can tell. I can tell, I can tell. But uh, before the world ends... We do have some collection-y, cutesy gameplay to play. And this is a lovely game that I was introduced to by my good friend, Celine Green Bean Caliente, which I think is how you say her name. I'm not actually sure. I've never said it aloud before. Oh, well. Uh, but she uh, introduced me to this game some time ago because when Celine likes something, you're going to know about it. Learn to know about it forever. And I'm okay with that. I'm very appreciative of that because it got us Marvin Fenton's. And that's the game we're going to be playing. Can you tell I don't write these scripts ahead of time? Yeah, I don't write any of these scripts ahead of time. I don't really know what I'm talking about. Tonight will be a special episode. Um, I'm going to play through the entire game. And last time I played it in 2018... That took me around three hours. So this is going to go extra long tonight. I, I don't know if you all were prepared for that, but that's how it's going to be. So get yourself some water, maybe some snacks, uh, roast marshmallows over the burning sweaters, and we'll, uh, we'll enjoy... The cozy atmosphere of Marvin Vittens. 
a peaceful, adorable game. Which I will try not to ruin by, you know, being a huge dork. As I generally am. Alright, I am gonna... Uh, Marvin's Mittens is a slightly special case in that the game starts up with... Uh, just where you left off. So, I'm going to start a new game. From the menu. But first, I'm going to pull the chat down a little bit. Uh, no, that's a little too far. My enormous ears are in the way of the chat box again. That'll do. Yeah. Now let's start a new game. So y'all can see the intro cinematic. Should we go look for it? Okay, let's go. So that is the intro. Uh, one moment while I get the little banner out of the way. It's poking up just enough into the game stream to irritate me. There we go. Uh, so Marvin's mitten has been stolen. You can see that his sprite is asymmetrical. Uh, we're gonna have to find Marvin's Mitten. That is the plot of the game. Marvin is a small egg-shaped child. And we're... Hmm. Oh. And there's the hedgehog. Hmm. Marvin is also an artist. I guess he can freaking draw. Uh, part of... Part of the game can be catching every creature you come across. Although you don't have to. And the rest is platforming. And that's what we're going to be doing for the next few hours. Is Marvin a scribble knot? Uh, you know, Marvin might be a scribble knot, actually. I'm not, act I'm not entirely positive. I have only played a tiny little bit of Scribble Knots. I do own Scribble Knots. If that's like something people want to see, please let me know. Oh, hey, look, there's a sled. Uh, Marvin does not have fall damage, by the way. So if you're ever worried about Marvin like falling too far, don't worry about it. He is wrapped up really tight in those. Whatever the heck this is. Like, a great coat. Whoop. Okay, well, I'll just walk. Okay, I will not just walk. Yes, yeah, now it's soft. Unless it isn't. Oh, there's a ribbon here. What does that mean? Absolutely nothing. Uh, oh, there's a bird. We can bird the bird. Let's sketch the bird. If, there we go. Bird status sketch. Uh, yeah, the music is very nice. Uh, the game on Steam can come with a soundtrack download. I didn't get it because I'm a heathen. I usually don't pay too much attention to game music, but, uh, you know, it's there if you like it. A 
across the drift. That's basically what a fox looks like. It's a tube with legs. And away it goes. Foxes burrow. Not a lot of people know that. Foxes dig you as much as you dig them. And now we're at the elf camp. The standard part of winter. Hey, elves. Hi. Missing too. They're deep in discussion. Find all our mittens. Look at the back. Yay! Having declared his mission. Marvin has granted great power. The more snow Marvin collect, the more he can twirl around like a ballerina and fly through the air. Yeah. Marvin, time to come in. Oh, but first Marvin's I'm mom coming. has to call him in. Super all jump. Right. Also, all the animals we've sketched hang out in our backyard. Hey, Fox. Ha. Yeah. Ha. So, that is the game loop, really. <laughs> and that elf is excited. I wish I could be as excited as that elf. But, uh, yep. Yay! Ha. Ha. Using the power of elven magic, we can now jump very good. And using the power yeah. of jumping good, ha. we collect snow. Ha. Ha. And by collecting snow, yeah. we enhance our power to jump. Ha. It's a good gameplay loop. Good game. Yeah. Ha. We cannot quite reach that branch from down here. But you notice that the uh, ceiling was open. Ha. So let's just head around. Ha. Ha. Yeah. Ha. And now ha. that we can uh, ha. Ha. hop up. Him. Hop. Ha. There. Now we can drop down and grab these. It's very beepy and boopy inside this cave. I really do like how the music kind of dynamically transitions between areas. That's a very nice touch. Yippee! Ha. Ha. So 
am I gonna collect every snowflake in the game? Yeah! Uh, almost certainly not, but there is a minimum amount that you do need to collect. So, I figure we might as well get in as many of these early, easier ones as we can. Obviously, we're not jumping up to the top of that, uh, grease fire, because we can't quite jump that high yet. Like, oh, well, we almost can. I underestimated us, and, uh, there's one thing you should never do, it's underestimate an egg child. They will always hatch and surprise you. I feel like this snow bundle is trying to tell us something, yeah. and I can't imagine what. Oh. We now have a sled, and that means we can sled. Yay! And uh, you can also cancel out of your sled animation to get more momentum for a particularly long leap. I... I cannot remember if there is any place in the game that is actually useful, but it's like cool advanced tech, so I had to point it out. I don't know if there's like a Marvin Vitten speedrun community. It 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 wouldn't surprise me honestly at this point. Oh, there's another bird. How can we get close enough to sketch it without scaring it away? Probably not from here. Maybe if we could jump up behind it, but we can't quite do that yet. Eventually, we will. Yeah. Aside from that, there's not too much to say about this game. Uh, I really feel like mostly I'm just gonna let it speak for itself, because it's precious yeah. adorable. And as noted, you can sled and turbo jump and such. And I love that fact. Yeah. Huh. Nobody has speedrun Marvin's yeah. Vittons. That's interesting. Uh, I wouldn't know how to begin. But you'll notice that we're already, like, we are already able to, like, dunk on Shaq. Yes! Oh yeah, by the way, we can, we can walk on Cloud. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I... I'm not that kind of person. Like, if... If, uh, Celine or say, if you want to pick this up and record it and get a free record... That's on you guys, but I'm, I'm just not that sort of... Oh, hello! We found the elf again. Oh. This elf is mighty. And now... We have a pathway underneath this mountain. Which takes us directly to the elf camp. Yeah. Up -a -pa 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 -pa. Now this is a long hill. Yeah. Now remember, uh, I mentioned sledding and all. Well, let's sled. And now we're on the ice! And so is this rabbit. Yes! Everybody loves a good bunny. Yippee! <laughs> yeah, um... Mom does have a knack for calling us home at weird times. 
And now we're on some dilapidated, rusty old train tracks. Which is fantastic. Yeah. This is exactly the kind of place a child should be allowed to play. Uh, yup, up, 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 Good wisdom. And now we have a second tunnel. Yeah, Mom was apparently an opera singer in her civilian life. Because she can blast out the vocals. Ooh, hello. Marvin, take a rest and have some cocoa on me. You have been running around like a maniac. So, uh, one nice thing about this game is that you can have elf cocoa anytime you want to. Alright, have fun. That's a huge text box. For, for that little line. Uh, you can also, however, read the Elf Cyclopedia. Would you like some more cocoa? Hey, who wouldn't? Let's find an entry to read. The Elf Cyclopedia. This book, it is a mighty tome. Filled with all the elves have ever known, wisdom wise and knowledge sage. Written down on every page. It's got ancient secret lore and people, places, things, and more. When information is your need, the, the elf encyclopedia is what you read. That's almost like a rhyming thing, but I love that one. Great stuff. Yeah! Like, it rhymes in places, it doesn't rhyme so much that. I was able to find, like, a rhyme scheme for it? Yeah! Uh, is there anything down here? No. Nope. Okay. Yippee! Ha! And we are officially yeah. on, like, Duncan on Shack levels of jump. Like, dang, man, Marvin... I look forward to the sequel, Marvin's NBA Career. There is no rule that says an egg can't play basketball. Yes. I worry that somebody will try to dunk him, though. All right. I just pick him up and windmill. Yeah. Uh, when you say the L Cyclopedia, like you weren't aware of it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you miss that? He All right. Ha. And now we're in the branch wood, yeah. which uh ha. it doesn't really branch that much, but there are branches ha. in the branch wood. And you notice how pretty much everywhere we go, we can still see Marvin's house way in the background. It's way back there, but it is back there. As we steadily climb to the sky. Yeah, Marvin just has like a huge backyard. Oh, we're not gonna make that jump. Oh well. Yes! Oh! I think that's a link. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think it's a link. It's got like those big, boofy paw. Ooh. Time to come in! Coming! Well, it was a big day. We explored a lot. Mm -hmm. 
Marvin dreaming of that sweet, sweet elf Coco. Now that we've unlocked the tunnel, we're allowed to fast travel. And when I say fast travel, I mean sled like a maniac. Hi, hi elves, bye elves. Bonk. Uh, we're also allowed to use the map, which shows us how many of the possible uh, snowflakes we've collected. So if you want to get 100%, there is a collectible map. Well, there's a map that no tracks collectibles. It's not really a map to the collectibles. And the map wasn't collectible. But... It's a map that... There's a map. But yeah, we're just allowed to start at the bridge now. Uh, we probably could have hopped off at any point. But I didn't want to. Because I wanted to show off this feature. Because I think it's cool. But remember, we do have a bird that I want to sketch back there. Somewhere. That bird will not go unsketched. Uh, but this is just a big stop sign here. Bonk. I good thing Marvin's wearing a very thick hat. Uh, everything- Marvin has cute voice acting, uh, I like the little belly 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 back noises the elves make. I have no idea how you, uh... I have no idea how you get down there, actually. I feel like there sh it should be obvious to me. Sadly, I can't, like, slam jump. Marvin weighs, like, 50 pounds, I think, soaking wet, so... All right. Aha! Hello. Yep, bop, 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 bop! Uh, yes. Yep, put a bop, put a bop, put a bop. Dive kick. <laughs> Marvin Bison. And then we come out here, and I think we're beneath the, uh, beneath the lakes. We're going right. splunking in the quest for more. Yep, there it is. There it is right there. I don't want to jump up and grab that because I'm going to accidentally jump through the... Yes. Uh, okay, there we go. And we found him. This dude is everywhere. He's everywhere we want to be. Uh, you okay? Mamadi Bapa. Okay. Try not to outpace the poor. He's got short legs, you know? You gotta watch out for short people. I'm a short people. These elves, the primary purpose is getting funky. Uh, you know, I may well end up 100%ing this because we're making great time, actually. We're really chewing through the scenery. And uh, that's not what I expected to do. So maybe we should slow down and explore a little more. Whoop. Yep. Whoop. Nope. Nope. Jump. Okay. Like I said, I'm not here to speedrun Marvin Fittens. I'm here to take it in. I'm here to, uh... To expose y'all to it. To, to show you all... The gloriousness of... Jumping real high. 
spinning around, loading up into the treetop. More Elf Cyclopedia? You know, that is an excellent suggestion. Elf Coco Plus. Hi, Marvin. Let me give you some cocoa. Uh, I'm around here. I'm on the other side. Like, there we go. Let's find an entry to read. The Mitten Thief! Over the hills and through the snow, no elf knows where our mittens go. It happens every 13 years. Our winter wear just disappears. Oh, what trouble, oh, what grief. What mischief caused by the Mitten Thief? Every 13 years. Amazing what you can learn from books, huh? Obviously, it's a, it, it's a curse upon the 13th year of each year. The thir 13th year of each year? Wow. My perception of time has, uh, has, has gone weird. Oh! Oh. Okay, you know what? We're gonna leave and come back, because that was Bird. That was Albert. And Albert deserves a place in our book, Cyclops. Media of Marvinology. There we go. Yeah, that's how you draw an owl. You just kind of, um... Yeah. It's sort of like, you know, you draw a person in a coat, and then you put eyes on it. Yay! You all know what I'm talking about, right? First you draw a circle, then you draw the eye. Uh, Poyo, Poyo, Poyo. Kirby's your uncle. Oops, I can't quite get over there yet. Then you draw the mitten, then you remove a mitten. Where did the mitten go? Yes! That's what we must find out. Ah, the frozen falls. Yes. Remember, no matter how tempting it is, we must not lick any part of this. And oh, it is tempting. Yeah. It tempts me so. What powers would Kirby get from one day? Right. You get the ability to be warm. Ha. And possibly to shake your hand. Ha. Look, you can see the big city way off in the distance. That has no relevance to anything, but I, I like it. I think it's cool. Yes, hold hands with Kirby. It's a good ability. Okay. I made that jump, but I didn't actually have to. There was no reason to make that jump. And we're going splunking! Hello, Elf. Yeah. Man, these elves are funky. <laughs> we have so many shortcuts now. So many. And if I'm not misremembering, Yay. I think some of that music might be, uh, it's almost time to go home, yeah. but I think it might also just be the soundtrack. I can't remember if there's a special, like, day is ending thing. Marvin! You are magical! A uh, special day is ending theme or what? But you know, we never did explore the far depths of the cave. Yes. What lies deep? Ooh, mushrooms. Nope, nope, don't eat those. What lies deep within the recesses of this 
unsuspecting Yay! cave. Unsuspecting cave? No, that's not really... Huh. Yeah. That's not really what I was going for. Uh... But I mean, look at the way the light glints off this ice projectile. Icicle! It's a lovely, lovely game. And I hear running water. And I hear... A ferocious dragon! Oh. Well, it was a good try. And it says something that even, you know... Yeah. Even so, I just strolled straight into its mouth without hesitation. Uh, I'm... I'm, I'm broken. Don't emulate me. Hey, come back! Uh, Yippee! You shush! <laughs> Alright! Oh no! No, really, I need that! I need that! Oh, alright. Yay! Okay, fine, I'll, I'll fall down here. Yeah, that's yeah. not a good. I, I, I. I Yay! Me. Anyway, we are now deep in the bowels of the earth. I mean. Arvid is a fantastic little cave explorer. Uh, Alright. Alright. Yeah. This bucket goes up and down, but. Of course, we have to, uh, collect as many snowflakes as possible, because apparently that is what I'm doing, collecting as many as possible. Aaron's getting some real height on these jumps now. Yeah. And yet he's still just as enthused as ever. City. What wonders will we discover here? as tall as their buildings. All right. This is like, you know, what if a very sociable Godzilla uh, visited? Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, like, land on you. Does anybody else remember the, uh... Yippee. The Doozers from Fraggle Rock? Uh, I loved those little guys. something down there, but I don't know how we, how we reach it. It's not this way, so it must be the other way. Yay! That's logic. Logic for you. Ha. Ha. Ooh. Ha. That's a big building. For such little fellas. Squirrel magic. Yay! Hey. 
It's a giant pot of... All right. Who? It's like heating... I'm not sure what they're doing there. Yes. Can we hear an Alphapedia about this place? Uh, let me make you some hot chocolate. Actually, I do want some uh, Alphapedia. Mitten magic. Each snowflake is unique and somehow a power to seek. With mittens properly enchanted, magic is what you'll be granted. And then watch as your jumps will grow while collecting magic flakes of snow. I love that one. Great stuff. Ooh. Marvin can now pierce the heaven. Coco? No, I, I want to hear more elf. Well, yeah, I'll take the Coco too. Lore. Animal sketching up in trees by some rocks you could see. A squirrel or fox or birds or bats or porcupine. There's all sorts of friends to find. Get too close and they'll run away. Tread more softly, they just might stay. Approach slow to get a look and add animals to your sketchbook. Good thing we have the Encyclopedia to store all this important knowledge. Yeah, I I love that apparently. Woohoo! Oh wow, thermals. Squirrel! No! The squirrel has forsaken me! Well, it's okay. We'll just leave and come back. Uh, we were never in Drafty Flats. That was the first time we ever found Drafty Flats. That's... I don't actually think we can... Can we climb this? Yes. Yeah! Squirrel has forsaken us forever. We will never be allowed to interact with the squirrel. Well, maybe we can. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll we'll try again later. Right now, have you noticed that the sun is going down back there? Three, two, one. Oh, hello. Jump. Okay, um... I feel like we've missed some elves in the past screens. So we're gonna have to, uh... 
Do some, some backtracking, I think. I love how he just manifests the shovel. Just thrusts his arms in the air like, yeah! And out comes the shovel. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to deal with uh, Crafty Flats if we want to complete the fast travel network. There is... Do you hear that? There is a sleeping elf about. Do I know where he is? I... Yes, I do now. If we could just... If we could only... Oh, well, we're gonna have to come at it from the other side, clearly. There we go. But you'll notice it's getting to be night. It's questionable if we'll reach the little fella before Marvin's mom gives a yell. Nope, nope, we got him. Yep, bop, 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 Wow! Um, she actually interrupted the cutscene. I don't think I've seen that before. I'm just pouring myself a little more water. Hydration is, after all, important. All right. On the next day... Marvin launched. Bye, elves. Bye, elves. He is beginning to marb. Whoops. Uh, I accidentally bounced off the thing. Um, okay. One metric dragon? Is that what's on, like, the Welsh flag? Anyway, yeah, now we can, uh... We have activated the fast travel network to the extreme! where we've reached the base of Mount Tall. The Tall Mountain. Oh? Uh, no, that's nothing. I just poked myself in the face of a rock. Congratulations. Uh, which I believe is almost... Yeah, I think we have, like, three areas left. Uh... Let's go back for some of this stuff, you know? I don't want to make, like, a video that's only an hour long. I love how almost Peanuts this, uh, background track is. This is almost Linus and Lucy, but it's not. That piano line, though. Yeah, so heat it really is. Yay. I was not previously aware that you could speedrun Marvin's mittens, but 
Uh, I guess in retrospect, sure you can. wind tunnels are blowing me. The wind is pushing me through the clouds again. Feel the blood in my brain. I mean, yeah, you can speed run anything. I just don't. I, I just don't. It's not in me to speed run. I lack that streak of uh, competitive self-hatred. Nerds! Yay! They're adorable, though. I feel like this represents the programming staff. and more Elf Cyclopedia knowledge. I didn't treat her read. The bigger elf on mountains tall and tunnels deep, you'll find this elf fast asleep. But when you feel stuck in a rut, the digger elf digs a shortcut. Again, the, the most important of informational, uh, in, information. Um... And down here is... Yeah, this is back to the Elf City. Yeah. Where we can, you know, we can grab some more, uh, lakes. So that's... This is fine. We definitely did not get them all. Oh. Yeah, we did, actually. <laughs> Alright, well, we got all the flakes in Elf City. Ha. Okay, but, like... An any percent speed run, sure, you could just barrel through. A hundred percent speed run would be much harder. Ha. Or at least much longer. Ha. a fair few things here in the cave. Whoop. You know, snow may cushion fall, but rock, uh... Rock rocks you. And there was a, a... There was a snowflake over here. Yes! Woo! Alright, we got it. I hope my, uh, voice isn't bleeding over too much into the game audio, and the game audio isn't, uh, bleeding over into my voice. Yippee! Too much, anyway. I did play with my settings just a little bit, trying to make sure that that happened less. That, uh... My voice was a little more isolated, but... I don't believe that it is. I don't think I'm, uh... I've really succeeded. But, I think it's alright. Um... I lightly alluded to this in the past, but this is the last time you all will be hearing my voice like this. This 
will, you will probably not be hearing me this way in the future. Uh, I'm looking... There is a tracking page created for a new microphone gifted to me by darling friend of the stream, Silverstar, as a Christmas gift. It's a uh, standalone small microphone. USB, so it doesn't uh, cross over with my headset. I'm very hopeful that things will work out. That it'll be uh, listenable and usable. I have no idea. It is a small uh, condenser type microphone. It is very small. In fact, it is uh, small and pink, like me. So hopefully it will be indistinguishable from me. Ha. Yippee! <laughs> Yay! It's like a Razer, uh... It's like a Razer Various something oh, no. A Razer Seiran? Yeah. Or something? I, I actually forget what it's called. I, I looked it up before the stream, so I could say what it was called, and I've already forgotten. Just like I forgot to mention it until now. So, you can see that everything is very together. Here, in, uh, Spurlock yes. Country, where I live. A Razer, Sa Razer Sabran yeah. Mini... USB condenser microphone. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so as I said, it is a Razer Seria Song microphone. Uh. Uh, 65 out of 67. We are only missing two here, and I have no idea on Earth where they are. Uh. They are probably shoved up some rocky... Uh, yeah, I know nothing about condenser microphones except that apparently they pick up everything. So, I may have to work out a different ventilation solution. Uh, right now my ventilation is a big box fan next to the window. And... I... Am unsure if... It will pick up the box fan. I am unsure... how it will sound. These are things we will discover together. Or rather, I will discover them together with myself. Because uh, I'm going to be doing extensive audio sound tests. Yeah, there is a microphone stand, but the thing is that the... Uh, the mini microphone is so small, I'm actually worried it's gonna fall out of the microphone stand. Like, it's gonna have this look like a velociraptor holding a teacup. It screws in. It screws in? It screws in? Okay, well. Anyway, there will be. I'll have a microphone stand. I'm gonna be just like, you know. I'm gonna be your favorite podcaster. I'm gonna, like, have a cool-ass microphone, and I'm gonna have, like, uh, a, b a big stand for it that shoves it up my nose, gives it that uh, nasal tinny quality that everybody looks for in a sound. Uh... Oh, shoot. I accidentally triggered this again. I didn't mean to do this. Uh, there's no point to me doing this, actually. But... Cool, whatever. <laughs> yeah, there was another route up, and I missed it. Uh, you can't really skip this. So... Whoops. Anyway, uh... Yeah, I will hopefully sound better than I do right now. 
And if I sound worse than I do right now, then that's my fault. All right, destruction. Or if it is just a kid. that I won't be patient enough to work it all out. I'm worried that I will just like accidentally throw it in a closet somewhere and forget about it and pull it out later. Like, oh no, if only I'd been using this. Oh no. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I've never been trying to become, like, a big-name streamer, because, frankly, being a big-name streamer just attracts problems and complications, and I'm not looking for problems and complications, I'm looking for video games. But it would be nice to not sound like I'm trying to actually murder your eardrums, and it would be nice to not have, like, the game audio writing piggyback with me on my commentary. So... We'll have to find out how that goes, you know? Like, I don't know how well it'll work. But I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's go through the programmer tunnel again. Yeah, I mean, I am definitely enjoying myself. Uh, I'm just saying that, like... There are things that I'm looking for and not looking for. And yes, if, as long as it solves the bleed-through problem, I, I don't really care. It can... It can electrocute me midstream. And I'll be like, hey, well, this is still an improvement. some people who would actually, like, pay extra for a microphone that does that. Which I'm sure comes with a great shock to all of you. Eh? Eh? Come on, eh? Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Alright. Uh, there is one left here, too. Like I said, I'm not gonna 100% this, but... There are games of integration. Oh, good. Ha. No, no, I'm just thinking that if I ever pass out during a stream, you can all, like, ha. donate a bunch of points to restart my heart. I'm kidding, of course. You all restart my heart every time. You a Hades mod? What electrocute you? Man, I. You know what? I actually don't want to know. Yay! Uh. Hey, look! You can see the bridge in the background. Yeah, there was a bird. Oh, and... Dan. Whoops. Time to come in. Coming. Sleep well, egg child. And so we dream of elf housing and our missing mitten. Unsled immediately, and uh. Hey, there's the owl. We have 18, yeah. 19, 20, 21. Like I keep saying, I'm not gonna 100% this game, but uh. There we go. Woo! 
But I am gonna collect more than just what I have. Yeah! Because I'm greedy. And I want all the snow possible. Wait, no, no I don't. I don't want any snow. Help, what am I doing? Yeah. I'm working counterproductively. I will freeze. Oh well. I've never really known myself to work in my own best interests. Gosh, maybe I could be a speedrunner. But I have no idea where those last two are. No, I do not want to hoard all the snow yes. possible. Ha. I'm gonna become a small squirrel-shaped icicle. Yeah. All right, that's 100% in this location. Nice. Ha. Not a hundred percent run, not a hundred percent run. What am I doing? Hello, verb. Oh. Okay, I've got to figure out how to sketch that bird. Do I already have a sketch of that bird? I may already have a sketch of that bird, but I don't know. I'm going to go look at the bird. Oh my god! Bird fell out of the tree! Does that happen? Yeah, I must already have a sketch of it. Look at him go! Ascending. Ascend, bird, ascend! I mentioned we can stand on clouds, because we can stand on clouds. I think that's great. Uh, 45 out of 48. You know what, let's just move on. Because we never explored all of Rolling Drift. And Rolling Drift has a cool thing. If I remember correctly, I may not... Act. It's been a long time. I think Rolling Drift has a really cool thing, though. Hello, Fox. First off, let's get up here. Bounce our way to the top of the hill. Launch. Um, I don't know why we're glowing. Oh! There it is! Behold! A snow castle! It is tall and grand. You might even say it's grande. Grande castle of the snow. Ah! Uh, yep, I see a couple up there. All right. Yoink! Yoink! 61 out of 60. You know what? Let's just keep going. I just want to get a majority of them. I, I don't need to collect all of them. Even so, it's looking like this is going to max out at around an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, that is considerably less time than I had thought. Uh, well, I will just do a little jig. In the meantime... All right. Ah, oh, that didn't need as much time as I thought either. At Glass Pond, we have very few... ...anything in. And that's because it's all up here. Snow is stored in the cloud. Oh, 
Oops, I meant several. I just want to go up and try that one more time. Yes! And that's everything here. I admit I sort of stalled the pace here to collect stuff, but, uh... There's more to see in this game than just the critical path. You know, like that snow castle, you can miss that entirely. Just never see it at all. And that's a shame. It's a very... it's a... In spite of all of this cold and snow, the, the word I would use to describe this game is warm. It is a decidedly warm game. missing two here, but... Oh, nope, I already got the links. The links has been sketched. Ha. Uh, let's go, go, and... Let's do one more outside media, just, you know. Well, we'll probably end up doing more than one sometime, but not right now. Distant landscapes. In the landscapes, far away, are places you may see one day. Venture far as you can roam. Turn around, you're almost home. Locations later to be found can be seen in the background. That's... You know, I actually never noticed that. Uh, I noticed that you can see, like... Home, but I guess that is Mount Tall back there. Isn't it? Or possibly the, uh... That one part where you have to jump the chasm in your sled. And so we climb. Yeah, it is a nice touch. I, the game is like nice touch incarnate. There is no non nice touch in this game. All right. Bird. Aw, this bird is round. Glad everybody is on board with a borb. Uh, Slippy Lake. We haven't been here. <laughs> All right. And yes, Marvin does Slippy across the lake. Ha. Yes. Him indeed, Slippy. Can you hear the little, like, squeak squeak of his... Whatever the heck, his little boots? Whoop, whoa. Yay! Marvin, hoverable. Yeah, he got the squeaks. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, well. What ho! It's a little castle! Yeah. I didn't realize you could collect those even during a cutscene. That's actually kind of cute. All 
right, we got quite a bit out of Flippy Lake. And here we are on Drafty Flat, but we've never yes. really gone through to any degree. And I don't think we will now either, because if you look in the background, the sun is uh, pretty much down. So any minute now, Mom is going to be yelling. You know, with her opera voice. it's fine because we can just hop right back out here thanks to the magic Marvin, time to come in Aww. um i want to summon giant snow castles from the bowels of the earth again <sighs> mm -hmm. i haven't done that since i was like 15. We are dreaming of the Digger Elf now. Okay. Marvin's been so busy. Woo! Onward! Yay! My noble sled steed. <laughs> Hey elves, bye elves. Woo! Under the wood. Through the under hollow. Past the fall. Out the flat. To Evergreen Hill. Over Evergreen Hill. Out to Mount Tall, where we run out of momentum. What is... Like... The fast travel system in this really works for me. Because, well, A, it's really fast. And B, you can stop and get off at any of those points. Yeah. Hello, Dothrian. Welcome to the adventures of Egg yes. Child in the Land of Snow. He ah yes, the Darien too is a bird. And a dragon. Ah. And a bird dragon. And a dragon bird. He and I can't quite make that jump. What a shame. Uh, can I actually make this? Oh yeah, I can just make that jump. And then I can... Uh, yeah. That was not as difficult as I was making it. Yeah. And so we climb Mount Tall. <laughs> oh no. No birdie birdie ball ball. No, not na not now. Later there will make there may be birdies and balls and balls and birdies and and articunos and it won't stay in the ball. Why won't it stay in the ball? Why would you just stay in the ball, bird? Yeah. <laughs> I may have PTSD. Yeah. Um, for folks who are watching on YouTube, uh, over at the Warm Fuzzy Game Room, my compatriot, Lean, and her entourage of many, have been playing, uh, Pokemon, and recently completed Soul Silver, which is 
a major accomplishment in its own. But as a historical childhood game of much import and uh, many imported Pokemon, it took on some special relevance. Well, Silver did, and then uh, Soul Silver, something else. And, you know, you should just go follow the entire saga from the beginning. Oh, there we go. Yes. Here's where I get out. Yes. And up into the cloud. Uh, it costs nothing to plug you aggressively at every turn. Well, maybe a couple of turns. Yippee! Has there been a turn Pokemon, speaking of birds? Yes! It feels like there should have been by now. I admit that I personally have been, um, considering the ROM hack Pokemon ephemeral. The thing is that, uh, I sort of want to play through it, and it has a lot of... I sort of want to play through it with a randomizer, and it has a lot of features that I'm not entirely sure are 100% friendly to that. Uh, it has some stuff going on. I love these little guys. Where does this go? Where does this actually take me? Ah. Right to the root of Mount Tall. Of course it does. Ah, let's have another Elfpedia. Marvin will have some elf cocoa and read a book of knowledge. Find an entry to read. Even though... Snow castles. Even though they're now unseen, mittens know where they have been. Been? 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 As you near, you'll see a glow and feel the magic from the snow. With a mitten magic, it's no hassle to raise a fantastic snow castle. I'm glad we have that knowledge. Uh, yeah. Can we go back up the mountain. Yeah, we can. We can go inside the. Whoop. We can go inside the All mountain right. and reclimb it from the very beginning all over again. Whoops. I slid. Yeah. You'll notice how, uh... Incredibly high we're jumping now. Like, yes. we are... Okay, well, that was cheating. But... You'll notice that we are now, uh... Into, like, full screen height territory. Which is awesome. The Downway Cliff. Where do they go? They go down. Oops. Well, I'm not going back up to get those. All right. Woohoo! Okay, we're not going down that way. One Tail High sounds like a, um... That's like a dating simulator where everybody is like a squirrel or a raccoon or uh Yeah. I guess like maybe an otter. Uh particular sorts of dragon. Particularly gifted wolf, maybe, I don't know. 
Yeah, um, one tail high. Please make a dating simulator where the main, uh, where the main draw is that everybody has a really big tail. Lovers of Ether? No, not quite. Although, uh, I did 100% Lovers of Ether. I played through every single route in Lovers of Ether, and I am let down that you cannot date the, uh, the teacher. I want to have some inappropriate relations with the teacher in Lovers of Ether. You know, this was almost a G-rated stream. We almost made that happen, and, uh... Let's read the encyclopedia again. <laughs> What's this have to say? Bled sign. Marked with signs throughout the land, our hills quite high and slopes quite grande. Put out your sled and start the slide, and then hold tight. Enjoy the ride. They'll often end with a hump, which with some speed becomes a jump. Yay! Agreed. Yay for... yay. Yippee! Oops. Hold on. Nope. I can do this. Erp, 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 erp. Dang it. Ha. Hold on. I, I gotta, like, crash land down here. Woohoo! Alright. Okay. By the way, we have made it to rock bottom, which, uh, that's a, a very deep name. Yippee! It's rocky, and it's the bottom. And there's a bat. And I couldn't yes. draw the bat. I feel bad about that. There's, there, the animals are always in places where you surprise them. And that makes me sad. Because I don't want to surprise the animals, I want to draw the animals. I wish you would friend the animal with my sketchbook. And yet, no such yeah. friendship takes place. Alright. Hello, Shatari. A pleasure to have you here, and uh We may unfortunately be wrapping up the game pretty soon. Um yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go back and try to catch the bat again. Yippee! Oh. Up, we have collected every uh, snowflake ha. in Rock Bottom. All right, the bat is up there. How do we? Ha. We must stealthily approach the bat. I said stealthily approach the bat. I said... Ha. There we go. The bat is shaped. The bat is shaped. The bat is definitely... That is one of the most shaped bats I've seen. That bat is absolutely... Carbon. Whoops. Time to come okay. In. Coming. <sighs> Time for home. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, 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 bad. Marvin's dream is convinced that bats can dig, which I'm not sure about, but sure, Marvin, sure. On we go. Hi, elves. Hi, elves. And yeah, you know. I feel confident, uh, going ahead and trying to wrap up the game, um, 
This did not last quite as long as I thought it was going to. Apparently my three hours were spent uh, trying to 100% the game instead of playing it all the way through normally. Yeah, um, when you just normally hop on a sled, it makes a little, like, buck string. Up, up. Nope, nope. There we go. Come on. Come on, we can make it. We can make it. Come on, Marvin. Okay, that's a dead end. So, another Elksycyclopedia, I think. Blum, blum, blum. I just really like reading the Elfcyclopedia poems. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. Digging machine. A digger elf can use its shovel and displace quite a bit of a rubble. But the snow elf caves are rather vast. And not everyone digs quite so fast. To use just shovels would be obscene, so hop inside a digging machine. And then you can pierce the heavens with your drill. Yeah, we I, I I definitely enjoy that little digging machine segment because it's it's so weird. It feels almost out of place, but not quite. Alright, here we are on the Twilight Flames again. Twilight. I only meant to stay a while. I cannot hold that. I'm sorry. <laughs> My voice does things. But across the Twilight Plains, which are vast and dark, and full of the Aurora Borealis. We we may actually have to go back and collect more snowflakes. Oh wait. Uh, you okay, little dude? He's fine. He's just uh, taking a minute to recover. I'm sure. He's uh just gonna sleep off that impact to his skull. Yeah, I'm... I'm not sure my skull can destroy a mountainside. I'd like to find out someday. Just bro face the mountainside and... Ah, my tail cannot destroy it. It's only for creating. It's my secret shame. I can sled here. Where does this go? The sky! Alright! Of course it takes me into the sky! Where else would a sled take you? We ascend! And while we could sled back, there is snow here. All right, now let's sled back. Meow. Oh. Yeah. You know, I missed one on the jump, and I don't know how that happened. Oh well. 
mount taller. Uh, the signs are not readable. They just have, like, pictures of sleds to let you know that, hey, you should sled here. why Marvin was, like, touching his toes there. That was an oddity of which I cannot fathom. Yeah, the Mount Taller music is absolutely fantastic. Like, this may be my favorite track in the game. There we go. A 200 pound weight loss motivation video. I've never wanted to motivate anyone to lose 200 pounds. I occasionally wanted to motivate people to gain 200 pounds. But that's... That's a different story. Yippee! Upward! No, we are just short of being able to make that jump. Just by a, a very, very... <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about my Pokemon Let's Play with all of the cakes. The fancy, fancy cakes. The delicious, fancy cakes. <sighs> okay, this, this way. This way, then. No, not that. This way. Uh, presumably... You know, I thought it was the XY Let's Play, but I'm not actually positive. Yeah, the Y. So yeah, I did too. Um, Omega Ruby is still waiting for you. And you know, I just remembered that there is this platform. Which means I don't have to jump from that platform. Which means I've been doing that wrong. Up Mount Taller. Uh, we, as we ascend. We ascend. I guess we're not ascending so much anymore. Okay, no, we are ascending. Uh, no! I wish to pop from the top like a cork. Rise, Marvin! Marvin has arisen. Yay! Yes, he is risen indeed. Ha. Yeah, it, th there is. Usually, if a surface collects snow, it is a platform. So we are, I believe, almost to the end. We are now on the North Peak of Mount Taller. And we are almost at the end of the game. Unless Marvin's mom interrupts, of course, but... She's allowed to do- if she can- If Marvin's mom can yell to us from our home all the way up to Mount Taller... Eagle! Eagle, 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 eagle. Got a beak and a face. And those are really all of the important parts of an eagle. Nothing else about an eagle matters. That's why eagles are so popular for hybrids. You can just slap a head on them. And, uh... Suddenly you have, like, a cool chimera or a griffin or something. Flag! 
flag on Mount Taller. How did it get there? Man's humanity to man. Uh, talons? Nah, you don't need those. Particularly not if you're putting, like, an eagle together with something else. Gate, Marvin. I kinda need you out here. All right. Ha. Look at that sky, though. That's a lovely sky. <laughs> the lair of the mitten thief. So it's time for our boss fight, and uh, we only have one life to do this. This is a permadeath game. So Marvin has to call upon all of the skills that he's learned ha. over the last, you know, couple hours of gameplay. Hour and a half of gameplay. He. To battle this ha. horrifying creature in its lair. Are you ready? There it is! The little creature! Oh. My mitten! Marvin Triumph. Hi. Oh! And so we learn the truth. It is just a little creature. It cannot change this. And if we keep going this way, we find the credits! Marvin takes a snow ride off at... play ride. A snow ride. Off into the distance. Uh... If you noticed, Shateri, um... All of them except two had... Mittens once Marvin took his back. And... So he returned the mittens that he took and, you know, just... Yeah, th they were down at the bottom of the nest. It was hard to see. Uh, Aaron Kiel, if that's how you pronounce your name. As Marvin's mom, you were an absolutely fantastic yeller. The end. And so we land in Marvin's backyard. And we could keep playing, you know. We could keep playing to get 100%. We could sketch all of the animals. Many of whom are here now. Somehow the lynx is hanging out, like, with the, uh, bunny and the fox. And nothing horrible is happening. So you know this is an adorable fantasy game. 
So this was a real feel-good ending. Uh, I'm about to kind of ruin it. So you can like mute for a few minutes if you don't feel like having it ruined. This game came out in uh, 2014, and it's from developer Breakfall, who did a couple other games, including Star Whale and Pizza Titan Ultra, which was released in 2018. Unfortunately, all of their social media has been mute since 2018. I've never seen, I haven't seen anything from them since then. I'm, I have to believe that the studio went defunct. And that makes me very sad. There are two entire areas this didn't cover? Really? Huh. I don't know where I would find those. Uh, but... I don't know. I wish that this game... That all of their games, Pizza Titan Ultra and all. Cloud and the upper. Oh, you can go up from there, can you? You know what? Let's go take a quick look. Just as like bonus. Not bo bonus content. Bounce, 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 bounce. Let's go take just a quick look up there. Yeah! Because I wish that this studio hadn't gone defunct, and I kind of want to check out everything I can of this game. Um, unfortunately, that is kind of the fate of small indie studios. They exist, basically, to put out a couple of good games and then crumble under their own weight, or lack thereof. But you can tell by looking at this game that every inch of it, every bit of it, is about love and care and such. There is nothing in this game that isn't adorable and amazing and had, like, time labored into it. And I respect the hell out of that. Oh, they've been on other games at least? That's good. I'm glad. Yay! That is, in fact, a bit of a relief to me. I'm glad to know that they're still... They're still working, they're still... It's still out there. Yeah, I don't, um... I mean, I don't think I've ever actually been up here. I have never seen this before. Balloon? Balloon! never seen this. Uh, as I mentioned during the pre-stream area, uh, Miss Celine Greenbean Caliente, Caliente, ca something, is of course the, uh, the person who originally introduced me to All Marvin right. Mitten. Caliente. Uh, is the person who introduced me to Marvin Mitten. So obviously she knows more than I do about it. If anybody's gonna be like the first Marvin Mitten speedrunner, it's gonna be her. Oops. I'm very yeah, I um I can't jump. I am the worst jumpist. Does this keep going even if I don't hop? Uh, oh, showdown bandit. Elder Scrolls Blade. That's interesting. I hope that they're, they're happy and comfortable wherever they are working. Huh. Whoop! All right, I'm not getting that one. Yeah. Am I going to the moon? Ah, uh, that one's in the background. Huh. Ooh! 
An Elpha Skull. I'm not allowed to use it. Yay! But I'm glad that there is an Elven Stargazing device up here. The Elves have established an outpost. Uh, you said there were two areas. Is it off this way? I would hope. Or else I just throw myself from the sky all the way down. thing in some screener. Yeah. Oh, the pirate ship. I vaguely remember the pirate ship. It's, um... Somewhere. Maybe in Downway Cliffs. Uh, but I guess I, I guess we will not be seeing the pirate ship, which... That's a shame. I'm not sure I remember where it is, but we are at about the two-hour mark, and that's about what I, uh, was hoping for. Or it could be under Frozen Falls. Unless that's where the Elf City is. Is this the Elf City? Nope, this is the dragon. Hi, dragon. I love you. <sighs> yeah, um, this game is a treasure. It's quite cheap on Steam. It's a little more if you want the soundtrack. And, uh, we did not get all the sketches. We did not collect all of the snowflakes. And we definitely did not see every area. But, by all means, if you want to, check it out yourself. It's a lovely little thing. Uh, and I'm, I'm really glad to have had the chance to show it all to you. I'm going to go back to the pre-stream so I can... Whoops. Oh no, my head. It's in the chat box. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to check and see if... um, Like, who is out there... If anyone's streaming, uh, could use a raid. And I don't really see anyone that I, well, I just, I guess I just don't do much, uh, raiding, you know? Anyway. <laughs> uh, try not to talk over me. I get oh oops right uh let me just anyway right my brain got all frazzled here at the end but it has been a pleasure and uh hopefully this is the last time you'll hear me in this audio quality I'm looking very much forward to having the new microphone and getting uh getting that set up and and probably sounding terrible for the first couple of nights. But we'll work on that. Uh, as to what is next in streaming for me, I am not sure. I have ideas, of course. But, well... I'm, I'm gonna mull on those ideas. I was thinking of doing, like, a Games with Snow in them theme. Then I recognize that there aren't that many uh, games I can think of that are all, like, snowy all the way through. So, uh... Oh well, you know. Probably it'll be another classic adventure game. Uh... We'll find out. 
Good night, everybody.